Diana. What shall we do with what Jesus did on Calvary's cross? And this is where it's a personal decision. This is where it is an individual decision that we need to ponder. What shall we do? We tell you about this Jesus that you will have everlasting life. You will not, when you live this life, you will live a life of purpose. At the end, you will have everlasting life. You will not go into hell. But when you believe and trust in God, and you you do what God requires you to do, you will be in heaven, paradise. Not in hell, where there's destruction, where there's stars, where there's... Life is free this morning. Jesus Christ, is salvation is free this morning. I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Give him a chance in your life. There's no other way to heaven but by Jesus. He gave his only begotten son that we can have life and life more abundant. Jesus, and today I want to tell you, just accept this Jesus and I'm telling you, the Lord Jesus is here and he wanted to save you. He wants to give you eternal life. And we are telling you, come to this Jesus. He will take away your pain and your sorrow. Tomorrow is promised to no man. The Bible says tomorrow is promised to no woman. The Bible says what you have is here and now and so you got to make a decision. But tomorrow is promised to no one. We might be here today and gone tomorrow. We might be here today and gone tomorrow. That's what the Bible says. Now is the appointed time. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day. He says if you hear, harden not your heart. Turn not away from God's life. Stop and consider your ways. Think about life. Think about where you are. Think about your relationship with God. Look at what the pandemic has done. I'm quite sure that each one of us know somebody that was taken out of here as a result of the pandemic. But thank God you are here. I tell you this morning, for Jesus Christ is a, is a, is a freedom to eternal life. Jesus Christ is the one that can give you divine eternal life this morning. But you have to do one thing, and that thing is to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your...